Okay, and we're back talking with Dee Dee, who's with us twice a month. You can hear her on the Rents Radio Network. Okay, um, too many things to talk about. What would you like to touch upon? Uh, well, before NAFTA and before then on the heels of that came uh, GATT and the World Trade Organization and then CAFTA. But prior to NAFTA, America was a generating country. We were self-sustaining our agricultural, manufacturing, and industrial. That is what produced. We were a producing nation. Because of those treaties, and I was just reading a piece the other day about this, it was talking about how we shifted to a service-oriented country Mm -hmm. where we don't produce but a small percentage anymore, and we've become a nation of think tanks and groups and self-help groups. Instead of Americans being productive and fulfilled in their lives and strangely enough at the same time america's become dependent on psychotropic drugs antidepressants make me feel good pills um uh, more booze more uh, illegal drugs anything to pump you up because you're so happy um with the way things are in the united states pushing paper for some foreign country or some think tank I don't think the American people feel fulfilled any longer. That they're what they're doing, and you know, I, I go to farmers markets, and of course, I get lots of email. And these are people that I know that are productive. They make quilts, they make furniture, they produce with their hands. They're farmers, they're ranchers. They feel like every day when they get up, they're doing something. Walk into some business, some service-oriented business, where. You know, I, when I picked up Willie the other day, Thursday, he had the pin taken out of his leg at this uh, canine hospital. The woman was on the phone for 10 minutes while I stood there, yapping to her friend about her kids and blah, blah, blah. When I went in the workforce, you didn't bring your personal life into the workforce. And you certainly would never leave a customer standing at the counter, no. you know, <laughs> who's dropped a thousand bucks inside your doors for 10 minutes while you yap on the phone. But I, it's just... It's an emptiness out there. Yeah. I, I don't think that people, they feel fulfilled anymore. Well, it's not only an emptiness. There's a lot more out there. There's a real hostility. There's an antagonism oh. uh, underlying all this anxiety. And people who have a chip on their shoulder to begin with now feel almost licensed to take it out on anybody who they deem unworthy. That's the communitarian doctrine. Sure the communist it is. morality, where it's inculcated that you give for the good of the community right. to become selfless instead of self-reliant, instead of pursuit of being independent. And deep down inside, this is what's made, I believe, people so unhappy. We're not only fighting the government, but Americans can't come together because they've come through the government indoctrination centers they call schools. But deep down inside, this, these people become, I think, mentally ill because they have lost that desire to be self-reliant by being forced into this uh, selflessness for the community, for the good of everybody else, in altruism. Well, and and the, uh, young people, look, look at the peer pressure. Uh, it's hive mentality. It's not a flock of sheep. It's like a hive of bees. I'm not kidding you. And if you fly out of your group, uh, you pay for it. These poor kids are so afraid to be independent and unique It's pathetic. Now, there are exceptions, all right? Yes. There are some brilliant and wonderfully gifted and talented young people doing their own thing and maturing and growing their gifts within. But it's not not something that's common. Uh, You're totally correct. Back in just a minute with Devi. 